welcome back to Lupus Critics. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Leave a like for the algorithm that does help the channel grow. So we got our trailer number two for Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. Let me just say this. I did a video a couple of months ago when the first trailer came out. And I thought that the main character was going to be Cornelius Caesar's second youngest son. And for, well, for, for some reason, his name is Noah. He's not Caesar's son. I think he's a descendant of Caesar and this is taking place a couple well boy, they're saying a, a hundred years later sucks I would have liked that it would have been Cornelius um it would have been an interesting story of him trying to protect his, his father's legacy of peace between the apes and humans but they they're going a different route with it taking place a um, hundred years later you got this Proximus Caesar who's played by Kevin Durant. Let me just say this. Kevin Durant really has this. You now, I mean, he's probably going to give us a spe spectacular performance because his version of this ape looks very menacing. Like, just, just menacing. I was very creeped out by how this ape looks. Like, Koba, Koba was, was creepy looking. This guy right here, he, he, he right there with him. With that face, with those face expressions, Kevin Durant is making. He may, he may, he may be up to par with Andy Serkis, um, but we, we'll we'll see when the movie comes out. But it, it, you got the humans, you know, they're running. They, they they're not, they're not, they're not as smart for what we're hearing in the trailer. And there's probably one human with the young lady from The Witcher who will be playing. What was her name? May. And it seems that. Noah does not like how the humans are being treated. Um, they've been lied to for what we got from this uh, story, from the story of this trailer. It was telling us something about the story of the, they've been lied to. So we have some apes that probably was on that Cobra, Cobra uh, side. Like Malcolm X and Martin Luther King, you had Caesar, you had Cobra. Caesar was more of the guy who believed in peace, diplomacy. You had Cobra, he ain't trying to hear none of that. You know, they we got to take them out now. So, yeah, it seems like more of the apes went to the Cobra side, even though Cobra was long gone during War of the Planet of the Apes. You still had some followers of Cobra's philosophy. You probably still had some deep within um, Caesar's posse that probably still believed in it, and they probably just chose the route of we just gonna we just gonna wipe everything out. We're gonna make sure that nobody know none of these future apes know what happened. That humans are beneath us, beneath us. And that exactly seems like that's what happened. And Proximus Caesar, you have some people speculate he's a time traveler. I'm not deep in the lore of the vintage Planet of the Apes films. Um, I did look at some of the, the um, YouTubers who was explaining that there are mutant humans out there that may possibly show up in this film. Maybe the May girl is one of those mutants. I'm like, that's fascinating. I did not know that, that there were mutant humans that lived in like a bunker or something or a cavern and they got mutated. And I was like, they can use telepathy. Oh, that's crazy. If they ever got to that, man, that's going to be an interesting Planet of the Apes film. Because you already got these advanced apes that can talk and think and build weapons and all that. And now you got mutated humans. Oh, boy. That, that right there. That, that, that. I don't know. If it, it, the question is, is West Ball the guy that could tell this story? I would have preferred Matt Reeves. But let me stop saying. But we're going to see what West Ball can do. We're gonna, we're, we're, we got to wait and see. Because I, I, I'm not a big fan of the Maze Runner films. I'm not. I'm not big on those, but I'm gonna give West Ball a chance. See if he can tell a good story with this. The trailer looks pretty good. I'm interested. Um, we haven't seen this type of. I haven't seen this type of style of the Planet of the Apes since the Mark Wahlberg Planet of the Apes. I didn't watch none of the vintage uh, Planet of the Apes films, but the Mark Wahlberg. That kind of. This kind of reminds me of that. But you still got. You got the Noah character. I just man only he was Cornelius but I'm gonna give it a chance but Proximus Caesar looks like he could be up there with Cobra as a threat and you're gonna see apes going against ape and you see he looks like he's gonna he's gonna um and I'm talking about um 
see um Noah. Noah seems like he's going to try to bring back Caesar's legacy of um uh, apes together strong. And I was like, okay, yeah, that's definitely what he's trying to do. But post comments, let me know what you guys think. Are you excited about this movie? I'm getting a little bit excited. I wasn't because Matt Reeves is not bad. But Wes Ball, I'm gonna have to give him a shot at it, even though I don't like some of his previous films. But I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna give this a shot, see what, what he has in store. But post comments, let me know what you guys think. Are you excited about this film? Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel.